Hey, what is going on Aquarius? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your July read from now to the end of July. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Runic Tarot. All that being said, let's get it. Universe, what message do we have for Aquarius from now to the end of July, 2024? What can we see for Aquarius? All right, Aquarius. So the first thing that I see, Aquarius, is I feel like the overall energy here is, is, is coming from a past person. I feel like this is someone that you had a connection with, but I, I feel like this person just kept playing games. You know, I, I get, I'm getting that, that feel, you know, that, that feeling that this person played some stupid games and won some stupid prizes. And that's exactly what happens when you play games. You know, I, I feel like this person, they played around too much. Even though I feel like this person truly had some strong feelings for you, I, I, I feel like they were very, it was almost like they were, they, they couldn't admit to it. You know, so they kept acting stupid. You know, and I, and I feel like it just got to the point where, you know, you couldn't see what was right in front of you because this person wasn't showing you it. You know, you, you felt some sort of way about this person, uh, but you just got sick of the games. You got sick of this person just being all over the place, not really being able to settle down, not being able to, like, commit. Even though I feel like this person really did want those things. I just feel like they didn't come to you correctly. You know, and it came to the point where you felt like you were losing more than you were gaining. You have the six of wands in reverse. You know, and, and starting to feel like you couldn't trust this person. Because of the way they were, they were, they were acting. Now, the reason why we bring up this past person is because I feel like, I feel like you have a new energy in your life. You know, I feel like there, you know, there's a third party in there, and I kind of feel like this past person has been keeping an eye on you. I feel like they thought that they would get their own way. You know, I, like I said, I I just get this this feeling that they thought what you had together was something special so that you would come chasing them. And when you didn't, that threw them kind of through a loop. You know, not only did you not come chasing them, I feel like, you know... There's this third party around you, so I do feel like there's someone new coming into your life. And I and I feel like this person... I mean, they're, they're mad that you're not bothered by you not being with them. Or them not being with you, vice versa, whatever way you want to put that. And, I mean, I... I 
I, I, I feel like this is really affecting that person. I mean, I, I feel like they're heartbroken. You know, they feel like their life's falling apart. They had something great. And instead of nurturing it, instead of giving to it, they, they messed around. They messed around and found out. Like, they're pissed that you're not bothered by this. Not only are you not bothered, but it seems like you're moving on. And like I said, I mean, they, this chaotic energy is, is surrounding them. They, they're hurt. You know, they feel out of balance. Everything is coming all at once here. You know, and, and they're spending a lot of time in their head right now because it's almost like they're regrouping. I feel like this this plan of getting some sort of control over you is something they did with other people. Uh, they they realized very quickly that it wasn't going to work on you. Now they're in their head wondering how they can make this right. I mean, they're seeing the, you know, not only this new person, but they're seeing new opportunities coming your way. And all they can keep thinking about is the fact that they wanted to be them. You know, they want to be in your life. They want to be with you. I mean, this person thinks about you and only you. They know what they want. They knew what they wanted. But like I said, play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And that's just basically in a nutshell what this person is getting. I mean, they wanted to build this foundation with you, but they wanted it under their terms. They saw the potential in this connection. They wanted to build a foundation with you. They wanted to be with you. You know, with that page of wands, they saw the potential. They see they they saw you as the their potential person that they spend their life with. They wanted to make a serious commitment, but they were being. You know, they, they were bringing this toxic energy in of them trying to be in control or have some kind of control. And, and when that didn't work, I, I feel like they tried to take control by distancing themselves from you. Thinking that that would have you come running to them. But when it didn't, they had to come up with a new game plan. You know, and that's what caused them to sit in their head. They're watching you move on while they're sitting in the same damn place. And they might even be lo losing some ground here because like I said, with that, that tower card and that temperance in reverse, I mean, everything's chaos right now for them. They're out of balance. Things aren't going right. I mean, they're pissed that you're moving on and they didn't want you to. Some people, man. I mean, this person wants you. They wanted you. They still want you. They were just plain stupid. Um, and now they're feeling defeated. You know, now they're that late night, that anxiety. They know they messed this up. That's not a question. They know they did. And now it's like, what are they going to do about it? Like, what am I going to do about it? You know, they're looking at it as like, I, I lost the best thing I, you know, I, I could have asked for. And I lost it because I was being stupid. There's some huge realizations coming in this person. I see that some major changes in this person's, you know, the way this person acts and reacts. Uh, with that death card, a huge transformation. We got the Six of Swords, big changes. You know, I, I, I feel like this person, I feel like they're coming back. I feel like they're going to fight for you. You know, they're going to put up a fight. You know, I see them nurturing this connection. I, I, I feel like they're going all in. You know, they're not holding back anymore. They're not playing these stupid games. And I and I feel like, like I said, it's a very genuine energy. I feel like they really changed. 
and usually I don't see people change this quickly, but I see this person really change because they're heartbroken and they're pissed. And that's a combination right there. I mean, you were what they wanted and they screwed around and they can't blame anybody but themselves. So, I mean, there's not, I mean, I mean, I feel like the way they feel about you inspired this person to step up and, and it may be too late. You know, that's up to you, but I do see this person. I mean, I, I do see them coming back. I do see them wanting to take you out. You know, I, I, I feel like this person wants to, you know, reconcile and they want to show you. Um, that's the one thing I do see with this person, though, is I feel like they are going to try to show you. It's almost like, they, you know, um, they're going to want to, you know, when someone... It reminds me of my little sister. I remember she was always, always looked up to me. And I remember there'd be times when she'd be like, you know, I, I used to play hockey or, you know, these things I used to do. And she used to always try to mimic me. And then when she did really good at something or she felt like she did good, she was always like, look at me, look at me. And she'd always try to do it around me. Like, um, I remember I tried to teach her how to skate and she wasn't really getting it. Um, but you know, a few years went by and she kept, you know, going to the, the, the rink with her friends and she kind of got better at it. And I remember one time I took her skating and she kept skating around me, like, kind of like, look at me, look what I can do. That's the energy I feel with this person. Like I've changed. Look at me. You know, I'm not the same person. And it's kind of like, they're trying to show you the changes before they make that, you know, make that offer. But I do see the offer coming because I mean, this person wants to move forward with you. You know, they always did. I just feel like they weren't quite on the level that they needed to be to move forward with this. Because like I said, I, there's a lot of gain, there's a lot of immature energy in the past. But I do feel like it is in the past because I, I, I see this person. Uh, they know what they they're missing out on. And when I say that you inspired them, I, I yes, there's some jealousy, but it's not so much this person is jealous of this new person you have in your life. They're not jealous that you're happy or they're not jealous that you may possibly be happy. You know, they're, they're more affected by the fact that it's not them making you happy, that you're not happy with them. They they could have been there, but they screwed around. But they are going to try to make it right. You know, I, like I said, with that star card, um, I do see them nurturing this connection. I do see them taking that leap of faith. You know, with their... It, it's a combination of hurt and pissed. They're hurt that they lost you, they're pissed that their game didn't work. But I feel like it helped them grow up. It caused these big changes in this person. Like I said, I've never seen so many changes in a person in one read, but here we are. I'm still hooked on this. I mean, at the beginning of this read, I mean, we had the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's like that player energy. I don't feel like this person's a player, though. You know, I, I feel like they try to give off the vibe like they were a player. Like, they could, they could, you know, they they could be with anyone kind of thing. Or just this confidence about them. And, and, and I mean, maybe maybe this, this player isn't playing this super stupid game. But, they might even try to make you jealous with other people because I do feel like there there was energy other energies in, in the in the connection before. But that was just their way of getting your attention and very immature. But like I said, they've grown up a lot. This is not the same person. You know, I, I feel like the 
I mean, there's still that part that you're, you were connected to, but now I feel like this person has grown up and they're, you know, more mature, you know, emotionally, mentally. Now with this person, I mean, we have Aries, Sagittarius, some Leo as well. You know, I do have some, quite a bit of fire here. Um, Gemini and Aquarius, some Taurus, got some Pisces as well. And we have that chariot, so some Cancer. Virgo uh, with that Hermit. You know, sometimes it's... Uh, <laughs> sometimes we get it wrong the first time. You know, sometimes we... We do stupid things when we're young... And maybe one time it works, so we just think that's something that works. It's going to work with everybody. But then we meet someone that's on our level, someone that we truly have feelings for. And we try that shit. It don't work. You know, and, and that's your wake-up call. That's this person, this is their wake-up call. I mean... Sometimes we get the benefit of the doubt and, and and it works out. You know, sometimes you grow up during the relationship rather than having to lose the relationship to grow up. You know, I mean, I experienced that myself in my my relationship with, with, with Fierce or Rose. Um, you know, we... I, I've grown a lot since the day we met. Uh, she stuck with me through a lot. You know, and, and she calls me out of my shit. And that's, sometimes that's what, that's the type of person we need in our life. You know, and there there's times when, there's times when we have trouble communicating because we're still, I mean, I was still young when, I, when we first got together and I was still a little bit immature and, you know, especially emotionally immature because I'd never really been in a really um, emotionally deep connection like, like I have with her. And she didn't give up on me. Um, you know, there's a few times she called me out and um, I answered the call. Not all people answer the call the same way. You know, sometimes we have to lose what's important to us. And unfortunately, sometimes we don't have the opportunity to get it back. This person just wants the opportunity to get it back. <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, I just remember my grandmother saying that all the time. It was one of her phrases that she used to use is, if you play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. Um, the first time she said it to me, I, I remember there was a hornet's nest on the shed. And um, me being a stupid kid, I thought, oh, I'll knock it off with a stick. And I got stung a bunch of times. I remember coming in the house and she said, what were you doing? And I'm like, oh, I was knocking the hornet's nest off. She's like, why would you do that? I'm like, I don't know. And she's like, well, when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. <laughs> And she said it plenty of times since then. And, but that's the thing, right? You know, sometimes we, we know what we want. We know what's best for us, but we do other stupid things. Um, it, it's a learning process. We all, we all have to learn at our own pace. And sometimes, you know, the person you were meant to be with maybe doesn't, isn't on that pace yet. It doesn't mean they won't be. But like I said, sometimes we screw things up so bad that there is no coming back. Now take this how it resonates with you. You know, I've, I've said this plenty of times. Um, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to show you what I see. 
And with that information, you do what you want with it. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.